Welcome to our classroom. I'm excited to have you guys here with me this summer. We're going to start off doing some familiar work. We're going to work with our letter names and letter sounds. These activities and skills help us remember what we've learned all year. So will you help me as we go through? Yes, we're going to start off with one of my favorite activities. It is called See, Say. Yeah, See, Say. For See, Say, my favorite game, I'll show you the letter card. You tell me the letter name and the letter sound. As we do this together, we help our memory come back of what we learned all year. So let's get started with C, say. Our first card, V, mm. very good. K, K, very good. And make sure you're saying those sounds loud and clear and you can repeat after me as we do this together. G, G, very good. B, B, T, T, perfect. L, O, H, F, very good, friends. D, D, J, J, M, M, Y, Y, S, R, R, C, K, W, W, Z, Z, X, X, very good, P, very good work, friends, with your C, say. Now we're going to move on to another fun skill, and this is called say, see. Yes, say, see. With say, see, I'm going to say a letter sound, and I want you to picture the letter that connects to that sound, because our brains are almost like TVs. When you're watching your favorite cartoon or show, Later on in the day, you can find yourself seeing in your brain plenty of scenes and fun times from that show. The same thing works for reading and writing as well, friends. When we're able to picture letters in our mind and even words, we're able to recognize them quickly together. So for Stacey, I'm going to say the letter sound. Your job is going to be to air write and say the letter name, then the letter sound. Now, if you were with us earlier this year, you can remember a little bit about air writing, right? Yes, it's like a magic wand. Air writing is when we use this finger, put your fingers up just like this. You have to follow the tip of your finger. So go ahead and start pointing to the tip, just tap it. Good job, friends. The tip of your finger, as you follow it, you're going to see the word that you air write written into the air. This activates all the memory and fun muscles that we have in our brains and in our bodies and our memories to help us remember. So when we use blending together later, we're able to pull and recall those images more quickly. So with say C, I'm going to say the letter sound. You're going to air write the letter that you picture in your mind, watch that finger, and you're going to say the sound as we swipe underneath. Just like that. Let's try it. D. 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 Very good. Repeat after me and we're going to work on this together. Mm. V. Mm. Very good, friends. 
Mm. M. Mm. Make sure you're following that finger. Let's try another one. O. L. O. Very good, friends. Let's try another one. S. S. Very good. T. T. W. W. Very good. Keep following along. Y. Yeah. Y. Yeah. Very good. Y. Y. Yeah. Z. 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 F. G. 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 B. 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 H. K. We know when we hear the sound K that there are two letters that we know in our alphabet that makes the sound. So we can air write C, and we can also air write the letter K. Very good. K, K. Good job. Good job, friends. So far, I'm working with those sounds. Let's try a few more. J. 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 Good job, everyone. That was fantastic work, working with your say, see. We're gonna go ahead and move on to our focus of our lesson today. Today, we're gonna work a little bit with our vowels. And we're familiar with vowels. All year, our teachers have talked about vowels and why they're so special. Do you remember? Yes, vowels are special. That's because as we learned, during this year, the vowels have the ability to make two sounds. But vowels are so special because they're easily changed, friends. The sounds of them are easily changed depending on the letter or letters that surround them. Vowels are cool. The vowel we're going to work with today, we're going to work with the short vowel sounds. And those are the short vowel sounds that we learn throughout the year. Those are the main ones we've learned in kindergarten throughout the year. And we're going to work with the short vowel sound Ah. Repeat the sound for me. Ah. Very good. When we hear the sound ah in our minds, we automatically picture which letter? The letter O. Absolutely. The letter O spells the short vowel sound ah. Ah. Friends, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of activity. So if you're sitting down right now, get up because we're going to work with the short vowel sound ah. And we're going to do a little bit of activities with this in order to keep it all here where we need it. So let's go ahead and get started. I want you to look at the card. As we're looking at the card, we're going to chant the sound that O makes, our short vowel sound, ah. We're going to do that three times, okay? So all together, we're going to say the short vowel sound for O three times. You ready? Let's do it. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, that was perfect. Let's keep going. Now that we've had our time to introduce ourselves to our letter and our focus for this lesson, we're gonna go ahead and practice some air writing. You know, Miss Thompson loves air writing. It's just the best thing to do. With our air writing today, we're going to air write the letter O and we're going to say the sound as we swipe underneath, okay? So I want you to do this. You're gonna take a picture of this card. Oh yeah, and not with your phone or tablet, with your brain. Your brain has a special camera that when you focus on something and you really take a picture of it, that means capture it in your brain and hold it, your brain can see it even when I take the card away. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me show you. I want you to look at this card as I hold it up and I want you to focus on this letter. I want you to, you can make the sound like you snap, 
for the picture, but take your picture. Hold it in your memory. We are now going to air write the letter O just as you picture in your, in your mind. And we're going to swipe underneath and say the sound, okay? We're gonna do that three times together. Look at your picture again. Hold it. Let's go. O, ah. Again. O, ah. O, ah. Great job on following that finger. Friends, you guys are ready to move on. Is it taking a picture? Pretty cool. You're able to see the letter even when the card is away. Friends, we're gonna go ahead and move on to another fun game. And this is what Ms. Thompson likes to call her vowel work, or also vowel intensives. This is gonna be fun because you're gonna listen for the sound, okay? Now we're focusing on the letter O, and we're focusing on the short vowel sound, ah. Friends, I want you guys to really listen closely for the sounds. The short vowel sound, ah, is found in words like octopus. Oscar, Ollie, Octave. When I say those words, do you hear the short vowel sound ah as the initial sound? Yes, Oscar, Ollie, Octave. Yes, we hear it loud and clear. Well, with our game, this is what we're going to focus on, listening for the short vowel sound ah as the sound itself, just as the pure sound, as we know it, and within words. That helps us in determining the sound and even in our reading, in our writing, putting all those good things in our tool belt. So let's try it, friends, okay? I'm going to say the sound, and I want you to listen for the short vowel sound, ah. If you hear the sound, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you do not hear the sound, I want you to give me a thumb sound. Remember, we're listening for the short vowel sound, and that's so important, isn't it? And I put that there just so we can remember the short vowel sound. Give me a thumbs up if you hear. If not, give me a thumbs down. All right, let's get ready. Ah. Yes, so we hear the sound there. Ah. Ah. Good job. Ah. Yes, great job. I can't trick you guys. You have it. Now, let's try it a bit differently. This time, I'm going to say words where the short vowel sound or the vowel sound is going to appear as the initial sound, friends, and that's known as the first sound, the very line leader of the word, okay? Ah. Absolutely. X. Op. App. Ot. Yes, we hear the short vowel sound, ah. At. Am. Good job. And av. Of. Yes, you got it. You guys have it. Listening for the short vowel sound ah as the initial sound in words is helping us understand how the sound is made and even within words that we can hear it. Now, let's go ahead and move on. Now, this is another step, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna say a word, but this time you may hear the short vowel sound, ah, as the medial sound. That is the sound that's going to be right there, hugged in the middle of the word. So if we're doing C, V, C, you're gonna hear that vowel sound right there in the middle. You gotta listen closely. Turn those listening ears on. Let's go. Remember to give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you hear the vowel sound ah, I want a huge thumbs up. If you don't hear it, give me a thumbs down. Fog. 
Good job. Tag. Tog. Map. Absolutely not. Mop. Yes, you got it. Vam. Good job. Vom. Let's try one more. Fox. Fax. Great job, everyone. You're able to listen for the short vowel sound ah as the pure sound as it is by itself, as the initial sound, and as the medial sound. That's great work. Good job, friends. We're gonna go ahead and move on now to our favorite part that will be of all of our lessons, our blending time. Now remember, friends, with blending, it is solely us working and using those sounds to create words, okay? Because we've learned throughout our lesson that letters and sounds connect to make words. As we're going through and we're saying our sounds, we'll be able to hear the words as the sounds all connect together. All right, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my board to you, okay? And with our blending game, this is what we're going to do. I am going to tap the letter card, okay? Do you see Ms. Humpson letter cards here? When I tap the letter card, All right, you guys see my cards? When I tap the letter card, I am going to say the sound. And we're going to say the sounds together, okay? I want you actively saying those sounds with me. So as I tap, we're going to say the sounds. Now, when I swipe, and I'm gonna show you guys, when I swipe through, I'm going to say the word read. I'm gonna say read. I want you to tell me the word that you hear. Okay? Because we know that when we connect those sounds together, they turn into words. We're able to hear those words and they come out very quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to tap the card. I'm going to say read and I want you to tell me the word you hear. Let's try our first one together, okay? I'm going to tap. Ah. Uh, Read, op, perfect word. Ox, ox, very good. Oz, oz, very good work. Keep going. Ock, ock, very good. Let's try this one. Oz, read, oz. Ah, uh, mm. read, um, very good. Look at those letters as I'm going through and tapping those sounds. I want you guys making those sounds along with me. Ah, uh, j, read, aj, uh, wow, good work, friends. Odd, uh, read, odd, very good. Off, uh, read, off. Uh, very good work. Ob. Uh, read. Ob. Uh, very good. Og. Uh, read. Og. Uh, very good. Ob. Uh, mm. Read. Of. Here's our bonus word. Ock. Uh, read. Uh, very good friends give yourselves a hand that was such great work working with our short vowel sound ah uh, and we know of course that has the letter name o very good friends with our vowel today you guys have done such great work everyone i want you guys to continue working with the letter o and the short vowel sound ah uh, 
and I want you guys to continue to work on those strategies, listening for that sound in words. Now, when we come back for our next lesson, we're going to continue our journey with our vowels and we're gonna start our focus with a new vowel along with the letter O. I'll see you guys then. Have a great day.